What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another 5M tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can pair props to your food items in your 5M server. What that means is I'm going to show you guys how you can take any sort of food prop and use it as an edible item in your game. So for that you're going to need two things. A copy of RP emotes and gym consumables. And a copy of BZZ's food props. The link to her discord will be in the description down below. We're gonna get you all squared away with that, and then we're gonna kinda of show you how they work. So, I have a little folder here on the desktop, tutorial stuff, gym consumables, RP emails. So, we are going to go and open up RP emotes. Once you got BZZ's props, what you're gonna to wanna to do is open up the client. Oh, not sorry, not open the client, my bad. You're gonna go into stream, props, and then you should have a folder within all that stuff that she has. Bakery, blueprint, bowl of food, cat pizza, chips, all this stuff. You're gonna copy them, paste them in here. Once you're done with that, you're gonna go to custom emotes. She should have a folder that says BZZI emotes. Now, if you didn't already have it, it should be included in the files. You'll paste it in here. If you already have it, great. Just leave it there. Don't touch it. You don't have to update it or anything like that. So now we're going to go into the FX manifest.lua. What you want to do is basically every one of those that you have will have. A file in her files that will allow you to type data file DLC underscore ITYP request. You're going to want stream slash paid slash BZZ bakery slash BZZ underscore food bakery props package, so on and so forth. Every one of those packages that you guys have have to go into the FX manifest in this format. If you get any of it wrong, if you even like type one thing in the wrong spot, that particular prop package will not work for you. It will not work at all. So make sure that your spelling, your dots, periods, all that stuff are in the right spot. Double check it. Hit Control S to save it. And you're done there. Then what you want to do is you want to open up Gym Consumables in the config file. Anything that you have of hers. her props. Rather than going inside RP emotes itself, it will go into your gym's consumables. The reason I say that is because when you guys pasted these in your RP emotes folder in the clients, I'm sorry, not the client, in the stream folder under props, all these are auto inserted and converted. So if I were to click on these, all the textures are already set. So, yes, there's a conditional animations.meta in here. You can mess with that at will if you know what you're doing. But other than that, you want to get it set up. So, it comes with a lot of different things. So, the bakery stuff comes with like a sandwich, eating a sandwich, eating baked toast. You have to basically set them up like this in this format. Make sure your brackets, your quotation marks, all of that stuff are all in the right spot. Your prop bone is properly labeled. Pretty much how basically she has it in the files, you have to have it to the exact bit. I can't stress that enough, guys. You'd be surprised how many comments I've gotten when I've done tutorials in the past about watching your code and making sure that it's set up properly. Because if you, you know, I get a lot of comments saying, oh, this didn't work because, you know, I did what you showed me, but it's not... That's never the case, guys. It's obviously an error within your code. If you're getting errors, it's because you broke the code somehow. So you got to be very precise with your code, especially when it comes to basically propping prop emotes with food items and stuff like that. If that gets broken, you're going to be eating invisible 
items. You're going to be eating your fingers practically, and you don't want to run into that issue. So for example, pretzel underscore A. She has it set as MP player I N E that whatever that means <laughs> and then she has the same thing underneath it there without the app labeled eating a pretzel the prop name is bzz underscore food bakery pretzel a the prop bone is that number here if they're under the same category such as bakery the prop bone is going to be the same number every time all the ones for the bakery all are 18905 How you know that you set it up properly and how it is properly formatted is these brackets will be blue. If they turn purple, you made a mistake somewhere. These brackets right here should be blue, not purple. How you could format it is you could basically go into your source control. Oops, sorry. Ah, what did I do? clicked on something just close that you can get a formatter for your visual studios code so you can right click in an empty spot anywhere that you've really done any work I have no idea what it is I did here but I control oh I did that I don't want that big space there save And you could format your code however you want. So once you got all that squared away and everything looks good, it's all in the blue. You can rev up your server. I don't know why I clicked that. Oops, I jumped into 5M a little too soon there. Now. At the very top is where you're going to basically have all of your food in game if you're using this. Everything that's going to be eatable and drinkable on the server will be here. Everything from your sandwiches down to your drinks, milkshakes, ice cream, whatever you want. As you can tell, I have a whole bunch. I literally have hundreds of things of food here and drink. But this is where all the work comes in. You have to put in the name of the food item, the name of the emote, which is should be the label so for example let's find one that's churros a so churros churros a right you hit control f churros a name of the food we want to pair it with the food item at the top churros underscore a churros equals emote equals churros a just like we said churros a can run false you can set the math however you want how much you want to do that's hunger and thirst or sorry hunger for any item that's food is hunger anything that's thirst it'll say thirst next to it remember the first number always has to be lower the second number has got to be higher. If you do it in reverse, it will not work. It will not... You know, he'll eat the item or your character, he or she will eat the item, but it will not affect your hunger or thirst. So make sure that the first number is always low, second is high. So let's look at another one. Grilled fish. Grilled underscore fish equals emote equals food underscore D food underscore D we'll search for that right comes up six times there it is oh that's dessert sorry food underscore D so that would be the name of the emote scroll back to the top food underscore D can run false Set the math, stress, 10, 20. So if you're doing 20, you'd have to bump that up to 30 or 40 or 50. It always has to be, remember, high, low, high, low. 
If you make this higher than this, it's gonna, it's not gonna work. The first number has to always be lower, the second always has to be higher. So let's go in, check it all out. So we have all these food items here. We'll test a couple of them and show you guys how it pops out. All right, so we're in game now. Gotta throw our hands up here for the lettuce. Ah, hey, what's up? All right, so just a little prime example. We'll open up our inventory. We have a couple items here that we can kind of work with. So the first one would be this Divola, which is inside the pizza place. So if we look at our code, Ah. It's not in there. Right. So this one's actually built in with actual with the pizza script. So what we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves an item that we have on the table. Fry it with grilled fish. So give item fried fish. So we go back and look at the code like before. Fried fish. The emote was eat fish. Well, technically it was grilled fish. And the emote was food D. So we'll go back and change this to grilled. It'll give us the same item. So we have grilled fish and fried fish. So the grilled fish is the one we looked at. So you click that. If you paired your emotes properly, the prop will have you eating grilled fish. And if you look at the bottom there, it gave us a little bit of basic need. And now fried fish. He's eating it on a stick. <laughs> fried fish on a stick. And I bumped it up to 92. Well, now let's look at drinks. Let's give ourselves something to drink orange juice right orange juice glass orange we're gonna look for the emote glass underscore orange it's right here so it's glass orange is the name of the emote pair it there all good let's give ourselves forward slash Give item orange juice one. Open our inventory. 
There's our orange juice. Drinking orange juice. We also did churros earlier, correct? So, churros. Bazing. Churros. But that is how you guys set up props with your food and drink items for your 5M server. If this, if this video was helpful, guys, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And, of course, ring that notification bell to stay notified of upcoming content just like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.